Right. Yeah. yeah, carry on, sorry. I should, I should try and uh, come back to you with an answer. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, uh, what was the other one? So you said before about the, uh, the death of Christ. We have so many archaeological findings that prove of what? that Jesus was died on a cross. Like what? Um, we have, uh, what, what is it called? Graffiti around the, the area that dates, that carbon, carbon dates back to um, within a few decades of uh, Christ's death. Uh, how, how does it prove bit, he died? It, it, it just because you have because, a graffiti? No, 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 there's more than one, just one the graffiti because it proves that even before scripture was written, that these claims uh, of, for example, Jesus uh, dying on a cross, etc. Um, were true to people at that time, so we cannot then say, oh, oh I've, I've lost my mind. Take so, your time. Yeah. Um, but where can we No, my brother, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, wants to get back to okay, him yeah, thinking, yeah, thinking, so do not interrupt. Sorry, my mind is so clouded now because we've been speaking for quite a while. That's fine, but yeah, time. there is um, there's a lot of archaeological finds that predate scripture that prove to us Christ died and was supposedly resurrected. And that is what I'm saying. We can't say that it is not an undisputable fact that Christ died because also we have his the nails that he was pierced with. We found them. We found the burial tomb. We found um, all of these archaeological finds. I can't go through all of them because I don't know, but there are... You've given me an example. Yeah, yeah. You've given me an example. Sure. Have you been to Egypt? No, I haven't. Right. When you go to Egypt, yeah. Look at the pyramids, go inside, look at the tombs, and look at the writings if you are able to read them. If you're not, get a book and you will see. It talks about God of the overall, God of the underworld, many things. There are lots and lots of these writings. Yeah, sure. Right. Do these writings give us a proof and evidence that there is God of the underworld and God of the overworld? Gods? Because there are multiple writings. But that is not... Number one, that is not a historical claim. That's a myth. No, no. Claim. We want to establish, firstly, the idea that we have inscriptions and graffitis and we have all these writings in something, right? Whether they're in the form of in the in in, 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 in stones uh, or in papyri or in like books or art, you know, whatever form it might be, writings. What it only demonstrates. That there are people who believed in such kind of things that has been written about. Hieroglyphics talks about what people believed about. It doesn't prove us that there indeed was a God of the underworld who is different from the God of the overworld. It doesn't give us that confident proof. Do, do, do you see my point? All you're establishing, all you're establishing is there may be communities around that time who had such belief that Christ was dead or crucified or buried or resurrected that's all it does it only establishes claim that is why it's important for us to understand that these claims by itself doesn't prove someone is god or their religion is true it has to be independently verified but because of these things we can substantiate that there is much more proof that christ died than that it was, for example, Judas, or it was an imposter that uh, some that was replaced, or what any of these claims. There is more evidence that Christ died in the, um, the Christian narrative of, of what supposedly happened than the Islamic narrative. And one point I want to make. Well, that's a claim, that, right? Not an evidence, a claim. Uh, just like you have a counterclaim. When you have two different counterclaims, yeah. these are just claims. If you had someone said, Look, I am a medical doctor, I have seen the Roman soldiers piercing Christ and crucifying him and I've checked his pulses or whatever the, the, the way they measured and authenticated someone's death and say okay fine he's dead we have none of that all we have is a belief system of community in which they thought they have crucified this man we know, we know uh, historically the Romans were very good at their job they would make sure someone is dead. We know okay. that from history. So how long do they put people on the cross? No, no, I, I'm, I'm countering this. Yeah. So that's why you need to address that. All right. To make someone die from crucifixion, yes. how long does it take? It takes a long time for them to... So no, give me, when you say long time, give me in terms of minutes, hours or days. Um, because it would take a long time, they would break the legs of the victims. I don't understand what you mean by then, long. No, no, let me finish. And so it would speed up the process. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then after that, if it was still taking too long, because uh, they had a, there was a tradition where they would not let that person uh, keep on dying and still be on the cross what, before it got dark. So it would have had to be before they got it got dark. And I'll try and continue. Sorry, we can hear you. Can continue. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I agree with you. A lot of people, they shout in the ears yeah. and we ignore them totally. Yeah, so if you see any hecklers coming and shouting, yeah, that's what you and I should do. Of course, of course, I condemn that completely. It's just hard because I'm bad at concentrating on two things at once. Exactly. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so, and then if it was still taking too long, they would pierce um, the heart of the, uh, the victim. They would make sure it is, they are dead, basically is what I'm saying. So it's a, we know that the Romans would make sure that their victims were dead. They wouldn't leave him alive or anything like that. How long was, when, when you say long, when, what do you mean by long? Give me a duration in terms of minutes, uh, seconds, hours would, or days? I would probably say, this is off the top of my head, I could be completely wrong, but I would guess probably about, within about 10 hours maybe. And do all of those people in 10 hours, they, they get, die? So that is why they speed up the process by piercing the okay. heartbreak. So I would legs. recommend you to go and look at Roman crucifixion method. Yeah, sure. And whether they have this particular custom of bringing people down in the sunset or not. If you find that is not the case. I have seen that as a tradition. Uh, I was no, no, no. Don't, yeah, don't, no. You're not going to go with a Christian bias and interpretation. You want to look at no, historical, no, historical account historical of account. Roman historical method of crucifixion. Account. How do they crucify? Do we find people left for days and it takes more than a day or two days for them to die? Because the whole idea, let me tell you from the outset, the whole idea of crucifying someone is for a long lasting, not eternal, a lasting suffering, prolonged suffering death. Otherwise, look, they could have chopped the head off instant death, but they don't do that. They want to make an example to the society in which someone's hanging and in pain and suffering. It takes long to, have, to die by crucifixion. According to even your account, Jesus wasn't there for long enough to be dead, right? So even if you were to take your account and look at a scrutiny with this mind, can he be dead? You would be suspicious. He shouldn't be dead by that time because it takes longer for people to die. So I'm leaving there for you to investigate further but my point is reply to that. Oh, reply. my reply to that is yes you're right it may have not taken him that long to die but that is why they sped up the process they broke the legs pierced the heart no one is surviving after that they because, pierced the heart yes do you have a document which says it they pierced the heart yeah the roman records at the time no 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 no, no. Sure there's roman records the person the who's christ, christ they're crucifying yes. we won't we don't want a generalization now. We know the general rule according to what you just said. Whether it's true or not, let's leave it aside. Individual person. We are talking about disputing Christ's crucifixion. I am not saying he was in the cross because I don't believe in that. You are saying. I'm taking your argument saying, do you have accounts that his heart was pierced? I, I don't I don't think so I don't think so you can go and investigate further no no I can you can go and investigate further the document doesn't say his heart was pierced I am open to correction but if I remember correctly it wasn't the case but yeah it says they pierced him and then blood and something about pierced him where pierced him where yeah, on the, the side, side. The yeah, side. yeah, yeah, but, 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 but this if you if it's here, this, nothing happens. No, you don't die. That that he was <laughs> this proves that he was dead because only dead no. people can excrete. Um, I've forgotten what the chemical terms are. No, like that, that's not true. Like that. Get a medic in here and they'll tell is. you you're wrong. No, that's not. It is. It's no, about the separation of water or something. When you no, 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 no. When dead. when you die, when you die, your circulation system stops. Yeah. Your blood should start congealing. Your blood shouldn't follow. But when I say follow, flow, because it's now congealed blood, no circulation. So don't go to a Christian medic because he will have his bias in. Go to a non-Christian, non-Muslim medical doctor in anatomy and physiology and say, if someone was like this, what do we expect if someone was dead? Okay, but right? what I'm trying to say is, is that, okay, let's say you're right. What, who 
has more evidence of this narrative, the Muslims or the Christians? We have far more evidence. I don't call that evidence. What I'm saying is, these what are... Is your evidence that Judas okay. was replaced with Christ? No, 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 no. no. I'm not giving you any evidence. I'm simply saying, there are historical rumours for this and for that. Rumours for Christ being not crucified and rumours for Christ being crucified in the flesh. So these are conflicting historical documentation available. In, in view of this, I am saying any historical documents that is now going to be presented, I need to now have an understanding of what? The truthfulness of the documents themselves and the writer who produces these documents. So the person who wrote it, is this person truthful? Is this person honest? Is this person someone with a good memory that they are recollecting information of? Wait, 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 wait. Any historical documents which is supposed to give us information about Christ, who is a very important historical figure for you, we need to establish the documents themselves, the writers who wrote them. What were their character trait like? Were they man or woman of intellectual integrity? Were they honest, truthful? And not only that, did they have good memory that they are recounting this historical information in all truthfulness? Okay, but what Can you substantiate any documents with this? Okay, not off the top of my head, but what I'm there saying you go, is, big problem. What I'm saying is, is that oh, I have lost where I was now. I had something to say, but it's gone. That's fine, that's fine. We can, we can leave the discussion yeah, there, but I've given you enough points to consider. Yeah. Any documentations which says this, we need to know whether the person, imagine you find a letter and it tells you, you know what, your mom, before she passed away, she gave me, not your mom, someone's, okay, I'm, I'm not making it personal, I'm not making it personal, or your mom and dad, they give me all the wealth, your cars, your house, your land, your businesses, to me, here is, here is you know, and I, I wrote it when she said it, she didn't sign it, or he didn't sign it because they were too um, unwell, are we going to simply take it and say, okay, you know what? Here's my house. Here's my car. Here's my land. Are you going to do that? Just because someone has a writing. The, the, point, the last thing I'm going to say, the point I'm trying to make is that you said there were rumors that uh, Judas was replaced or what? No, am no. I no. Right? Am what, I what I'm saying, no, there no, are I'm accounts. Okay, accounts. There are many accounts okay. which are conflicting and, and are all Christians are now in confusion. Do you know why? Let, uh, let, me, let, finish, me, let me, let me, let me, finish, please, 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 please finish and now let me okay. clarify what I meant. Let, yeah. But you so finish first. Those conflicting rumours or what, what uh, sorry if that's not exactly how you said it, but they are such a minority. So what, why would I go with this tiny, tiny minority view and reject all of the people at that time who had the majority view that yes, Jesus was actually crucified? Why, it's why not minority view. That? Of course it's a minority okay, view. Okay, now that's why I need to clarify. He would not have exploded. No, 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 not because of that. Years. Let me clarify. Your church fathers, some of them, they wrote books called Against Heresies, right? Whether it's Oregon or Origin or Irenaeus, they wrote volumes in which they said, ah, this is the belief of the Sabellians, for example, or the Basilides and Basilidians. And they're saying, look, don't fall, in my words, don't fall for their trap. Because these people, they are not to be trusted on. They believe Christ wasn't crucified in the flesh. But what we as church fathers are telling you, Christ was crucified in the flesh. Now, if there was a minority view, you don't need your church fathers to write and warn against these people to the whole of the Christian dog. The reason why they were writing them, because they were prominent enough to mislead others. They had a voice, they had a collective belief in such a way they would have even taken up the orthodox belief and make it orthodox that's why the church fathers had to write against those heretical in his eyes belief system so it is totally wrong a historical to say it was a minority view it was a view in fact within the first 200 300 years of christianity um yeah we are finishing within the first 300 of christianity there are many forms of Christianity which you will say they're hereticals now. But at that time, they were Christians. So that's what I'm saying. 
you cannot just rely on your belief because of someone's death and crucifixion and somehow it makes him divine and Christianity true. You have to ask, we believe in God being three in one. Does it make sense here and here? Well, it doesn't. Then what you're doing is constantly struggling and re-struggling to, to somehow say, I will believe in it anyway because of other things. Ask yourself, if somebody says that tree is God, Imagine now, 2,000 years ago, someone comes along and says, that, that tree is God. Our Allah has two right hands. No, 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 no. Make it um, uh, brother, you don't have to. We agreed. We're not going to listen to any of the hackless. We will just ignore them. So, he's one of them. So what I'm saying, if somebody comes along and says, oh, that tree is God, because I have a document which says, God became a tree. Now, you and I are, are simply not going to simply say, ah, oh, Oh, you have a document which says God became a tree, so I should believe in it? What would you do? You would say, that tree became a God? You should start thinking and reflecting using your God-given faculty of intellect and say, how can this tree be God? This tree had a beginning and it will wither and it will die. So someone comes along likewise and say, this woman became God. This man became God. You would seriously question. I mean, what do you mean God became a man? Or man has become God? You would say, it doesn't make any sense. Let's not go down another path right But do, do you follow? No, no, it's not another path. I am just giving you, I'm giving you the principles that we should have our discussion on. Not because a book says so, but independent of these books, how do we assess the veracity, truthfulness and accuracy of any claim? Does that make sense? Um, I'm going to look into it. Yeah, absolutely. You take care, nice pleasure speaking discussion. to you. Yeah, what was your name? Sydney. Sydney, I am Mansoor. Yeah. Pleasure yeah. speaking to you. Look into it yeah. and when you have found something about it, perhaps you can talk again. Sure. Yeah? yeah? You take care. Enjoy that yeah. Take care.